So how you doing? You okay? I'm I'm pretty good, thank oh, you. Good. Have you. How been, are you? I'm very good. That's it. See, that's that's how it needs to I need to ask you questions as well. This is so See, this one-sided. Is the, this is you the way. set up something one-sided, it's not fair. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm very good. You're the first person to ask me all day. Good. Can well, you believe that? Though? I'm really proud of myself. Thank for you that. very much, man. Thank and you. And I'm also really happy that you're good. Thank you very I'm always good, me, always good. Um if just for anyone that doesn't know, they should know, but anyone that doesn't. What, who are you? Uh, what, what, where are you from? Uh, I'm James from Crywank, uh, and I'm from Barnsley, but we're a band that operates in Manchester. <laughs> yeah. Talk through the name Crywank, it's drawn a lot of attention. Yeah, it, 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 it's essentially it means that every interview I ever do online, or any conversation people have about my music, now essentially just revolves around the name, which... Which sucks. Yeah. But I'm also I stand by the name more than anything. Like uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's a pun on the word tear jerk. Yeah. Um, which yeah, I, I mean. Should... <laughs> <laughs> Just to clear that up. Yeah. It's, it's, on top of that, like I, I write sad songs, okay. and it's a yeah, it's it's a funny like two words put together. Yeah. But if you actually think of the idea of I mean most people masturbate. And you think of the idea of having that moment of pure self-love, but perhaps mentally what's going on in your head is something quite intense and you cry. <laughs> and combining those is something that's really like, it, it, yeah, it's a funny name, whatever, but the idea of actually doing that for me is quite high-level sadness, and that's what I kind of want to achieve with my music, whether I have or not is someone else's call, but... That's, that is yeah, <laughs> I think it's a strong name, and it also no, yeah. means, like, I can't ever sell out, so even if I do, like... Flush my ethics down the drain. Yeah. yeah no one's like, Crying out going to do a yeah. feature of Crywank on the front page. If Sony come knocking on the door, you're still Crywank. So yeah, it's it, it how it is. You know? <laughs> uh, so, we've, we've spoke previously, like, uh, you know what we're about. Um, it's interesting, actually, that you've said you try and stay away from, or not so much try and stay away from pay to play gigs, but it's just something that you don't do. Yeah, I've, I've never, never even done one, never even come close. Like, uh, but I, I'm. Probably for like every show I play in a venue, I'll tend to play one in a house as well. Okay. Like I try and stay active in the DIY scene and uh, just I don't know uh, play as many donation shows as I can. And like for me, like it's it's nice getting money from it. Yeah. But I, it's also a real privilege when um, someone gives you like an opportunity to be on a stage. Like the idea of paying to play is, is yeah, yeah. I, I struggle to even comprehend that. Well, that's the but thing. But for me, if someone covers my transport, that's all I really want. Like if someone gives me a crowd of people to play in front of, I'm so privileged. And if some of those people have already spent the time of the day listening to my music, yeah. that's something I've created. I never thought someone would be interested yeah. in that. So. Um, yeah, I'm, oh, cool. I'm just chuffed if anyone yeah. wants to hear it. You always get temptation to be like, maybe I should do a press release, maybe I should send this to like magazines that advertise or things yeah. like that, but I don't know, I, I, I'm one of those people who if, if it ever got more popular than it is already, like, I'm, I'm anxious just having people online speaking about me. Right, okay. Yeah, it, like, I'm like, ah! So yeah. it, it's, uh, you know, I, I'm quite happy with how it is. Like, yeah. for me, a tour is a holiday, and playing shows is just like a, a chill night out. Yeah. I suppose that's a, quite a weird thing for someone that sort of puts himself in the spotlight as a musician and sort of as a the front person. Yeah. To feel that kind of awkwardness when it comes to people talking about you because you are in the spotlight. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's more so the fact that, like, humans are very varied um, people. Like, I'm a very happy person, anxious person, sad person. Like, I try and be funny. I don't even yeah. know. But I'd say I'm more than just sadness. Yeah. But my musical project isn't just sadness. So when people speak about it, they tend to project a lot of ideas onto me and, um, like, I'll get, like... I don't know. It, it's just... It can be difficult to uh, comprehend at times when people are speaking about you, but all they're aware about you is you singing about your anxieties. All right, okay. So it's essentially, if someone wants to speak about me and they don't know me in person, they only know Crywank, they're going to speak about me doing whiny anti-folk acoustic songs yeah, about how much I hate myself. So their idea of me isn't really... 
It's not you, it's... No, it's an aspect of me. Right, okay. It's not all of me, but it's... It mostly stems from the fact that, like, there's a huge problem, especially with men, about people speaking about their emotions and depression. Yep. And if I can do something where someone can relate and hear a sad line and be like, oh, that's exactly how I feel, but they've never been able to articulate that to someone, um, that's, that's kind of why I make sad music, because I think uh, when I've heard sad songs that describe how I feel and I've not been able to get it out, it's been really soothing, just that kind of relation and knowing that someone else can feel the same. So yeah. that's why I, I always focus on sad music, but oh, okay. it weirds me out when people uh, <laughs> write about me as an individual defined by that. <laughs> sort of gigs in people's houses then. Mm. I mean, that's such a like, different thing to do. It's but, rad. It's yeah. so good. Like, what, what goes on? Are you just, I mean, the, like, I'll message promoters and I'll always say, like, I'm happy to do a, house, a show in a venue or in a house. Some of them opt for the house. Um, it just means that, you know, you normally will spend um, £15 and get about four or five drinks and right, you can okay. spend that on a crate. You can yeah, buy yeah. a bag of pot. It, it's it's it, the, the the general we'll, vibe. We'll cut, we'll cut that out. No, 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 no. Like no. from, from Crywan, legalize. Like seriously. <laughs> um, but it, it's it's a lot nicer. Um, and it's easier to go up to someone and just start talking. Um, yeah, of course. So yeah, I, I I love house shows. Yeah, man, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm quite jealous. I wish like <laughs> I wish I'd been asked to play someone's home. Like that seems. Like a yeah, more that's, personal thing, like that's... that's... That's what makes it so great, is someone hasn't, you know, invited you to kind of a, this venue which is all about making money and all yeah. these things, it's come into my home, check out my room, yeah, here's yeah, something yeah. I made, you know, here's my entire group of friends, that's it's cool. lovely, that's cool, um, I really like it. And uh, what kind of things have you got coming up then, have you got more gigs, are you releasing anything at the minute? Or? I, I only cool. have... Uh, Two more shows coming up. I'm playing Leeds May 1st. Um, Is that ever? Or like... No, no, no. no. <laughs> I just... Uh, right now I've been recording. Um, right, okay. So uh, it's... Uh, I'm putting out a, an EP on Valentine's Day. Um, and is it sort of themed? Uh, it's, it's got one song about love. Okay. Um, but it's... To be honest, it's mostly just... Like, right. Men masturbating while they're crying? No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> that's going to be probably a later one. All right. um, I'm doing an EP for uh, the 20th of April, 420, um, if we manage to get it done. I'm right. worried because there's a camera filming this, and I'm saying, I'm going to do this, and then if I don't, I'll make a dick of it. Yeah, no, no, just... But the plan <laughs> is, um, record an EP called Bad Weed Songs. Right, okay. Because um, although I'm speaking about how much I like singing about sadness when I play live, I've written a fair few songs about just enjoying green. Yeah. And, uh, you know... I just think I might record them. So that's that's the 420, my bad weed, <laughs> bad weed songs release. Nice one, nice one. Otherwise, it's, um, I'm doing a concept album I've been working on for uh, the past few years uh, about lucid dreaming, but that's going to be quite different to what I do right yeah. now, because it's a rap album. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. And, if, and if people want to catch this kind of stuff, where should they check you out? Is... Uh, all my stuff's on Bandcamp. Um, yeah. yeah, all on Bandcamp. Uh, if you want to download it for free, um, I think one of the albums on Bandcamp is priced at 50p. The rest are free. But uh, you can just get it off Mediafire. There's loads of like torrent websites and stuff that has it. Um, <laughs> it's not like, some people can't afford to like have the in-depth music taste they want. Like, sure, like support bands and all that. But I. Since I was a kid, I've downloaded music, and I like musos who are aware of this band, that band, this band, that band, this yeah. band, that band. And I don't know, it's unattainable if you uh, aren't a really rich guy. Yeah, you shouldn't and price people out. Yeah, no, that? that's the way it is. That's why like, I'll, I'll sell like a CD. If it's a handmade one that I've not put money down on, I'll say name your price. Yeah. So for you, is it, is it more important that people listen to your music yeah. than pay for the music? Always. Like, it's... I don't know, I'm happy for anyone to download it. I think it's classist to, like, assume that you should give bands who, you know, have six-figure salaries a tenor because they're yeah. hard-working musicians, you know? Yeah, we're all hard-working musicians. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> every, like, most people are hard workers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, as a musician, 
someone wants to check out my stuff, um, I'm privileged and honoured that they're willing to give time to something I've created. And if they want to pay for it, I'm happy for them to listen to it first and maybe pay when they come to a gig or, you know, donate later if the album's affected them cool. somehow. That's just, you know... Yeah. And that's, I'm surprised more people don't see it that way, but it just seems to be this, the situation. Right? But it's, it's been really cool speaking to you, mate. And, uh, same to you. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't ask you more questions. No, no, it's I, fine. I gave off the impression I was gonna, no. and that this wasn't gonna be a two sided, <laughs> like a one sided thing. And then I've just, you know, rambled about myself. But that's all I really No, did. that's cool. I've got nothing interesting to say anyway. No, no one wants to know You said you were happy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Encourage. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been good good having you, and uh, we hope to see more of you, more of your stuff soon. And, and these kind of attitudes, it really has been refreshing to hear someone speak about this kind of stuff. Thank you very much. Have a good night.